side quests. I am Victor Devon, and I'm a burlesque performer and writer. I currently live in Riverside, California, and I run White Elephant Burlesque, which I have for about 14 years. Uh, I am also the author of Two Nights Stay, which is a murder mystery ghost story series that incorporates uh, flash fiction and found footage media. You can find all of that on WeBurlesque.com, and you may recognize the voices of your fun and games hosts on that podcast, too. I'm going to tell you about the first game that took over my life. Now, as a child, I did not have a video game system. My sister Sharon did. She had a Game Boy and a Sega Genesis, which she definitely let me play more than I gave her credit for, uh, but they were definitely not mine. I was into board games such as Clue and Risk and 1313 Dead and Drive and Feudal, which is one I cannot find anyone else that has ever heard of. Uh, but for video games, I was relegated to my own collection of those handheld electronic games from Tiger, where like Catwoman had three or four frames that alternated, and Batman threw batarangs, uh, and Paperboy, which I actually was pretty good at, even though I intentionally threw the papers at the neighbors, which you weren't supposed to do. Uh, for Sega, I was attracted to Donald Duck Quackshot, and for Game Boy, it was about uh, Tetris and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Follow the Foot Clan. But then my sister went to college, and I didn't have anything at home. And while I would play things like Road Rage and Mortal Kombat at friends' houses, uh, and eventually uh, GoldenEye and Leisure Suit Larry, which I was too young to play, uh, they, I didn't have them at home, so I didn't. that was it. That was basically all the, my window to it. Until 2000 and 2000, uh, yeah, just 2000, was when EA Games released The Sims. And at that point, I had a computer that has got to be Windows 95, and I got the game. I think we went to Circuit City or something like that and got the game. I don't remember exactly where I'd heard of it, but it sounded fun. It sounded... It, 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 basically, I was spending all my time online as it was, so it didn't, didn't matter to me if I was playing a video game. And I was getting more interested, I guess, in that. And so I got the game, and I don't know when I went to bed after that. So I would have been a sophomore, and which was a rough year for me. And uh, I was playing this game, and what was really cool about it was that it was world building, which has always been my strong suit. I'm really bad at following through on my writing or my content development, even today. But I, I have ideas, and I can I can write a character sheet, and I can tell you all the story, but getting it on paper has always been difficult. And this was an opportunity for me to create characters that I could lose interest with, if and that would be okay. Like, they were short-term characters. Um, and this is The Sims 1, so... It was a little rough around the edges. It was a little bit more accessible, I think, in terms of screwing around with it, basically. I think The Sims, and I've played it since, they've found a few ways to enhance the gameplay. People get older now. Um, people die a little bit. I think, I think it's a little harder for characters to die. Uh, but at the time, I have to say that that was a plus that you could create a house and with a game cheat because who has the, who has the time or the inclination to play it correctly and uh, create a whole house and just throw a bunch of random assortments create your eight characters uh, that looked you know however you wanted them to and then you know lock them in a room take out the doors put them in a pool take out the uh, the method of getting out the stairwell and uh, putting things entirely too close to a fireplace and just seeing what happened. And I, <laughs> I have to say that that was oddly fulfilling um, in, a, in a way that I hope doesn't make me sound like a serial killer. But there was something um, just funny about it and something that also led it your led your way to um, 
actually investing into these characters in ways that you didn't expect. Like whenever, like it's it's all fun and games, um, so to speak, to um, you know light a house on fire and you know kill off your family and get a bunch of uh, tombstones that you can then put in the back of um, your property, and that's that's cool. And then the ghosts come, and nowadays the ghosts are a little bit more um, invasive. Before, they would just wake you up. And that only reason that was annoying was because sometimes these people had to go to sleep and get up in the morning. And if you woke them up, then it was really difficult for them to actually get a rested sleep. But basically, it was really it was fun because also you could just treat it like an aquarium. So... I don't know where my patients, you know, came from, I say shortly after saying that I use cheat codes, but um, I would play hours of just watching characters go about their virtual day, and eventually you got attached to them, if you, I mean, if, if that was what you wanted, um, and then you would, and then, oh god, and then this was back in the day of when you could get you could download different skins, and that was exciting because you could get uh, them to look like pop culture characters. And I, I swear, my downloads folder was all of these exu uh, executable files that just I just messed with the gameplay because it was not prepared for these kinds of hacks. And I remember feeling um, so uh, brazen that I found one that actually made them look nude but it didn't make them look nude and it and in fact since all of the characters um were adjusted to have a skin tone whenever you change their clothes in the game things would poke out or not quite fit the way they were supposed to which actually made it a little bit more obscene than if you just had them naked but um it's clear that the game players saw these hacks and were aware of them because a lot of those hacks were eventually incorporated into the actual game. You can actually like walk around more or less naked in the game on purpose. You'll still create um, other characters who are upset about it or create shame, which is an interesting aspect, but you know, they saw that that was happening and so they decided to play with it. And yeah, you could try to uh, kill off the NPCs and it just wouldn't work. The maid would just disappear. The repairman would just disappear. Oh well, you tried. I think now you can do it. I think you can actually do it now. You can actually add them to your family if you know how to do that cheat, which I do. <laughs> but The Sims was a lot of fun and it was also a lot of fun to play with, with people. And since I didn't have uh, these games at home video games were always a social action for me so i would go to a friend's house and this was at the at the time when we would play something like golden eye or um something that was like multiplayer then that was one thing but then you had games like i wasn't a super mario brothers person because i just didn't have access to that game system and so i don't have that kind of um you know connection to it I, I, I we were a sonic family i guess uh, but it was always a social thing, and it was always something that was important that you did with other people and you played with. Uh, and while you could also go to like an arcade, which I did do as a, as a child and as a young adult, it just was it just infrequent. The Sims was a, was an interesting time because it someone has to sit at the computer, someone has to have control of the mouse, and someone has to have control of the keyboard, and it's not inherently a group game, and yet. If you are friends with the same kind of screwed up people that want to see what it, how long it takes for someone to drown in their own pool or for all of these random uh, vases and rugs and ugly art pieces that would just really quickly catch on fire, then, um, well, you, that, was your, that was your evening. And fortunately... I had friends that, that were that was fine. And what was really also um, neat about The Sims was that you could screen cap and you could, um, there was like a, an in-house camera, more or less, which would capture a portion of the screen and it became uh, a, an, an, uh, you know, an outdoor, an outside game with uh, friends of mine in high school where we would try to screen cap 
like the moment, like the ridiculous moments or things that looked funny or things that, you know, try to one up each other, which I guess is sort of uh, eventually happened with the game later. But people do that with video. So they, they you know, have to take the characters and they can, uh, you know, make them do whatever they want. But uh, at the time, it was it was unique and, uh, you know, its own thing. And then uh, there was at one point at the height of my too much time in my hands where I had a Yahoo group back actually when it was a Yahoo club and it was Yahoo clubs and it was called Sim Sin uh, because the idea was it was all the ways of playing the game in its proper form. No, the rules were no um, hacks or no um, scripts that you could modify and try to show the most screwed up uh, ways like people like on fire and uh, just just to show you um, being really awful to these digital characters which again in hindsight sounds like a massive red flag but I take comfort that they were all 2D characters and I apologize to Mortimer and Bella Goth for all that I did oh well so yeah, that was The Sims. Uh, it was important to me in high school, and it's still around, and I did get The Sims 2. It was a very different gameplay. It was confusing to me. I put it away for a while, and then uh, when quarantine hit, because, you know, the world is ending, I thought, hey, EA has a sale on uh, The Sims, uh, like the computer game, and I was like, okay, let's see. And so I got it for like six bucks and started dreaming about being a sim again and I realized I need to put this away for a little bit just a little bit but yeah that was the sims thanks for listening happy gaming